So to recap, there's four steps. You wanna choose a customer base. You wanna find a C keyword, a word that identifies your customer base the best. You wanna validate the customer base. You just wanna quickly go to Amazon. Are people actually using this word? Are they actually purchasing products here? That I think was a huge mistake that we made in the beginning. <laughs> when we had this idea of a customer base, we were spending a lot of time just testing a lot of things and we would have saved ourselves a ton of time if we would have just went to Amazon in the beginning and saw, are there customers here and are they actually buying? Um, and then avoiding competition. This is what I think we've found the most success with is just avoiding a lot of that competition. I think a lot of people that get into this POD space come here because it is free to make the listings. There's a lot of benefits to it, but then they just kind of jump in with the rest of the crowd and then it's hard for them. They don't really have success. They get frustrated, then they drop it. If you're avoiding competition as your main pursuit, I think that will help you find success. I think it's very addictive when you start getting sales, <laughs> you wanna get more sales. Uh, find, avoiding competition is just finding landing zones. And landing zones, again, are just Amazon's results pages that pass the Wingman five-step test. So what I wanna leave you with is test, test, test find what works best for you. There's been a lot of times that me and Nathaniel have disagreed on ideas, but only through testing have we found what truly works. Nathaniel showed black on black shirts. We've sold purple on pink shirts. There's all kinds of different things that we as consumers would never buy, but I don't ever want to assume what the customers will purchase. So we always strongly suggest test out different ideas that you have. Get as many listings up in front of the customers as you can and be able to find what works best for you.